Hello, my name is Allison Bobette. My name is Bella. My name is Raphael. My name is Marissa. My name is Victor Pereira. And I have some questions about the COVID-19 vaccine. What is a vaccine? A vaccine is something that's given to a person that prepares their body's immune system to fight the germ when they end up facing it in real life. In some way, it's kind of training your body to get ready for an infection so that the infection doesn't harm you. How is, is a vaccine made? How does a vaccine work? Vaccines are made in all different ways. Most people are really interested in how the um, COVID vaccines are made. They're made in a really unique way because they don't actually inject any virus or even any parts of virus into someone's body. Scientists create a blueprint that creates a bit of virus. So what happens is the person um, who receives the vaccine gets that blueprint, a small chemical blueprint that's injected into the person's body. And then the person's body makes the little parts of virus to train the body's immune system to fight the larger virus. So in some ways it's kind of like an instruction manual for the body so the body can uh, develop a way of fighting off the virus for real. Is the COVID vaccine safe? In Canada, we will be receiving mostly the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. And I anticipate that most people around Canada will be getting one of these two mRNA vaccines. There's two issues around its safety. First of all, it's been injected in millions and millions of people around the world, and they've all had few, if any, side effects. Sometimes with the second injection, they uh, do get some soreness in the arm or they may get fever. More importantly, what we know is that people who get the vaccine are much healthier after they get the vaccine than people who didn't get the vaccine. So in terms of whether it's safe or not, you are much safer getting the vaccine than not getting it. How will the vaccine help with COVID? The vaccine will help with COVID by protecting people from getting the disease. So it can help um, your body to develop um, some protection so that if you're exposed to the disease, you don't necessarily get the disease, or if you get it, um, you won't get very as sick from it as you would if you didn't have the vaccine. Is the vaccine only for people who had COVID before or have COVID right now? The vaccine is not only for people who have had COVID before or who have COVID now. Um, the vaccine is for any adult who could get COVID. So that means that if you haven't had COVID, it's a good idea to get the vaccine to help protect you. If you had COVID before, you're still allowed to get the vaccine because it can protect you from getting it again. If you have COVID right now, it's a good idea to wait until your symptoms are better and some time has passed before getting the vaccine, but you should still get the vaccine in the near future to help protect you from getting COVID again. I take medications. Will the vaccine mix up with my medications? So there's no medication that should prevent you from getting the vaccine. But I think it's very important that before you get the vaccine, you talk to your doctor and review all the medications that you're on to make sure that there won't be any issues with you getting the vaccine based on the medications you're currently taking. How do you help people feel calm and comfortable before getting the vaccine. 
first of all, I think it's important to know what happens when you go to receive the vaccine. There is a nice handout called What Happens When I Get the COVID Vaccine? And it's available on the Surrey Place website and it was created by CAMH and HCARD. Um, if you look at the booklet, it talks step by step about what happens when you go to the clinic and um, who might give you the vaccine, how long you might have to wait and questions they may ask. I always feel calmer when I know what's about to happen. Another thing that could help is to bring someone that knows you well, someone that makes you feel calm and comfortable so that when you go in to receive the vaccine, you might be less nervous. I also sometimes bring things that make me feel calmer. So for some people, that's a book that they like to read or listening to music that makes them feel calm on their iPad or their, or their uh, tablet or phone. Um, and some people like to have a support object like a teddy bear or a blanket or something that makes them feel secure and safe. Uh, sometimes people are very, very afraid of getting a vaccine or needle. And if that's the case, maybe you should talk to your family doctor and they might be able to find a medication to make it easier. Now that's not for everybody, but if you talk to your doctor and they do offer you a pill or cream to make it uh, maybe less painful or, um, or to make you feel more calm, um, then you have to have that ready on the day of the appointment. So you have to talk to the doctor first. Uh, sometimes the doctor will say, I don't think you really need it because uh, getting the vaccine is a very quick little poke. It doesn't hurt too much and, and it, oh, the pain only lasts for a short time. A lot of people get it without having any problems. Can I be allergic to the vaccine? Yes. The answer is yes. Rarely there are some people who are allergic to the vaccine, although it's not um, very common. If you do have an allergic reaction to the vaccine, you might find that you have an itchy rash called hives or uh, difficulty breathing. If you do have allergies that require um, carrying something special called an EpiPen, then you might need to talk to your doctor first before receiving the vaccine. Uh, for everyone else who has mild allergies to lots of different things, you're probably going to be fine. And the important thing is, after you receive the vaccine, they do have you wait at the vaccine uh, clinic to make sure that you're not having an allergic reaction. So that's something for the doctors to worry about. At least um, you can rest assured that someone is paying attention. Why do I still have to be careful wearing a mask and keeping my distance even after I get the vaccine? We know the vaccine stops you from getting sick, but we don't know yet if the vaccine is the only thing that we need to protect people. So even with the vaccine, we still need to wear a mask and keep our distance from others, along with washing our hands, coughing into our arms and staying home when we're sick. Are there some people who should not get the COVID vaccine? For almost everyone, the vaccine is safe and effective. There is a very small number of people who should not get the vaccine, for instance, people who are allergic to what the vaccine is made of. Talk to your family doctor or nurse about this. She or he will know or help you decide if it's safe for you to get the vaccine. Lots of people are talking about getting the vaccine. How can I make a decision about getting the vaccine? The vaccine is good. It can protect you your friends and family and your community from COVID, which can be a serious disease. How can you make a decision about it? If you have a person who helps you make health decisions, talk with that person. If you're having trouble deciding, speak with your family doctor or nurse.